Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Mac Alistair 2-in-1 600 watt rotary and hammer drill Got this one from B&Q, priced up at £32 but when rang through it came up as 30 Worthy little drill for 30 bucks. Now I do have to get this one here because my one, I tried drilling a few holes while the battery was dead and I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it, leaving it to charge for a couple of minutes at a time and then trying the hole again. Knew I shouldn't have done it. That's why, as you can see, I've tried wiring a laptop charger to it, but for some reason it keeps it's coming on in spurts. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But I had to get another drill. Now the missus is going to get me a Makita combi drill and impact driver set. But in the meantime, I needed something cheap and cheerful. And I have a few of the McAllister tools. I've got a big chop saw, chop miter saw. Uh, I've got a grinder. And these McAllister tools seem absolutely fine. Right, so we have the drill, the corded wire. Oh, hold on, we'll bring you back a bit. Maybe you here. Right, we do have the drill, the booklet, the depth stop, which I think is just a a basic depth stop. Where's the tooth? The tooth is in there. Oh, can't seem to get that in just now. Take a look at that in a minute, but yeah. you got your handle that just slips on in the front. And I, oh, I need to take you in the light. As you can see, there's a little tooth down here. This corresponds with the notches in the back. So as long as you can oh, slacken it off, bring it down until wherever you need the handle. Do you need it at the side or do you need it down underneath? Machine gun style. But yeah. Good little drill. Now you have the depth stop, which would just, yeah, I would imagine, I do not know how it's going to go in, because for some reason, it just doesn't want to go. Well, that'll be because the bolt's already in it. So yeah, to do the depth stop you want to, I don't know if you can see this, but see the roof of the bolt that's up in the top here, you can see that it's popping and protruding in here. So we need that to lift up out the way in order to get the depth stop in. And then screw it in and it'll find its own place. Just like that. So anytime you need to move the depth stop to correspond with where you need it to be, you would just slacken off the handle until the bolt's lifted up and out of the way. Slide and move your depth stop where you want it. But I'm not going to have that freehand it because I'm a pro but yeah McAllister tools good quality tools for the price that you get I've never really run into many problems I mean this case this case is a really good case as well plenty of room it's not like once you get it and open it you can't put everything back the way you had it or you know you uncoil the wire then it never fits in the box properly without the lid not shutting right but yeah decent color it's got rubberized grip all over, kind of comfortable, good quality handle as well, very strong and sturdy. 
So it does have forward and reverse and over here we do have the variable speed. So we'll give that a check out just now. Now the chuck, the chuck's a bit grunchy and stiff, but if you use the method of, you know, powering it, just holding it and putting it backwards to open it and forwards to tighten it, just like that, then it's not a problem. But yeah, speed-wise you can... Excellent for screwing. That's it on its slowest power setting at full. Then we'll turn the power setting right up to full. No, it does. It might come across as a bit loud on the camera but most of the noise is just wind noise coming out of the sides of the case and plenty of wind chuck doesn't have too much wobble you can hear a tiny bit no when you actually hold the bottom of the stem there's really not much wobble at all it's minute so good tolerances on it it does have the Hammer if you want to use hammer, but I personally don't use hammer on, well, won't be on a cheap drill like this, but it looks good and it's starting to go. I'm starting to get quite the collection of McAllister tools on the go. Yeah, I've got a big chop saw, a grinder, this drill. I've had a few other things that have been McAllister and a few other people have used the tools that I've never seen any complaints, the tools have always been there, I've used them myself and never had a complaint about any. But with that drill there, the Black & Decker 18 volt, I built this man cave with just this. I was putting in 100 millimeter screws into solid wood just with that little black and decker and it was a nightmare I had to keep like I remember one day I must have charged it about eight times so I was waiting in between it charging just to get stuff done but I built an entire man cave with just that so it did work but however a lot of the times I was having to overuse it while it was dying of power and I only had the one battery pack so I kind of ruined it by myself and I know that so I don't know if it's savable or if I can do anything with it, but I will try. Meantime, we got this McAllister because it's corded, it's strong, it's going to screw, it's going to wire wheel, it's going to do everything I need it to do with plenty of power and no concerns about running it hard. i put it this way, this Black & Decker, yeah, it's a drill, but it's a screw gun, right? It's it's for putting little screws into little bits of wood. It's not for any heavy use and it's more than done good for me. So just to let you know that McAllister drill, it's clean, it's compact. The plastic is mega sturdy. This stuff is not any flimsy, cheap rubbish, not at all. It's sturdy, it's solid, it's powerful exactly what I needed and it was only 30 quid right so I can guarantee I could fully build one of these sheds many a times just with this thing alone so it's worth the investment just to have a second drill there and like I said I might be a good boy till my birthday get a Makita set up a combi drill and a impact driver but that's just more for assurance that it's not going to pack in after two weeks of use but yeah, meantime, McAllister tools, absolutely wicked tools. I'll stop waffling on because this video is going to hit 10 minutes. But yeah, out of the packet, looks good, feels good, plenty of power, everything you would expect, variable speed. It's even got the lock on. 
so you can keep the power going rather than hold the trigger forward and reverse mode good good fan and sound blowing so i like that and of course the handle it's not it's not cheap rubbish it's solid it's sturdy it's good quality it's rubberized it's quick to put on quick to take off not a problem anyway this has been oracle's cave and the mcallister 600 watt two-in-one hammer and rotary drill thanks a lot for joining me and if there's any news on this whether it be that it packs in or it, no matter what if anything turns up on this i'll update this video so you'll know that if this turned out junk in a short space of time or if it was lasting anyway guys bye for now